Feeling a little better than before. I. Welcome to the Monokoma Show! Theater. Alright. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard all of Noah's art, right? We're sort of like that. We set a sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about your crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk divers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself very perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Are there new guidelines available or something? As in, now you're no longer able to sleep to other people's dormitories? Ding dong, bing bong. I don't think ding dongs make bing bong sounds, but okay. Alright. Is this gonna be the same shit over again? Good morning, everyone! Get ready to gr- No new rules so far, okay. I sat up, still half sleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I just remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. Hopefully no one sees me going out of Sayaka's room! I left Sayaka's room to make my way towards the dining hall. Alright, is everyone here? A few people are already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. Hello, Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it? I was on the very first- Fuck off. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning! I suppose, I'm early. Alright, but everyone else is not here. I figured everyone who had arrived on time would be considered model- Considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late- are these people? Yo. Yo. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. My makeup would just not cooperate this morning. Uh, My apologies, well. ladies and gentlemen. Morning as a duty took a little longer than usual. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Were the type of were the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. One, two, three, four. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! My bad, guys. I slept right through my alarm. What's what? It's so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep. But just so you know, nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived except for two people. Byaku Kaku and... Sayaka. At least that's how it's supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't there still s missing people? Uh. Yeah, Sayaka and Byaku Kaku uh, aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um. Did she forget? Forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got a sense she'll always have her stuff together. I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started, gr started to grow quickly. Uh, I need to go. I have to check on her! The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe, but over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have taken a break in the yeah, previous episode, but... Uh... Uh, okay, so let's look at the uh, investigation team. Sword, so there's definitely a fight. Oh no, oh no. Either she's dead. Uh, I better check the bathroom. She's dead, isn't she? Let's take a 
look inside. Just hurry up. The suspense is killing me. And it took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried inside my brain. So for you guys, it's a blood red because my color saturation looks like it's very, very pinkish. But, uh... Anyways, what I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried inside itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. To survive daily, deadly life, chapter one, so... We got one victim out of everything now. So yeah, uh, trying to increase her social link was completely pointless. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw everyone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. I plead not guilty! <laughs> Ah, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up! Uh huh. Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, it's now a surprise considering what happened. What happened? Uh, hey, are you okay? So, it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair working its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka's. If Sayaka's. You can check once a thou. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see it for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think is gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it to gonna do this stand around here? I mean, why are you all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Saika, she's... She's dead! Dead, when I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Mono Kuma, he told us all to come here. Well, well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price I had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced them to come right now. We need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's, no, it's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he was the one... It was- it's obvious he's the one who killed Saika. Wrong! I would never do that! If I- if you can believe anything, you can believe that! <laughs> he's here again. Hey. Unless someone violates a school regulation, I will absolutely not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen I'm up. famous at safari parks th throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. But then, but... who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply to that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... What, what? Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot off with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decide to kill Sayaka so that you can prove so you can graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you're lying, right? Uh, uh of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If you wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... are, are you serious? What? What someone! Is? Someone killed someone! <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold Hey, on. hold on! Don't just assume he's telling the truth! 
Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets gra gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? huh? Come Don't on. play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you got to leave. <laughs> Poo hoo hoo. Poo hoo hoo. Poo ho ho ho. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Poo hoo. It's cuz. Naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and walk down out of here? Hey, You're super naive. Devilishly now. naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing just has just begun. Th the real thing? Now. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you had to upheld, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to the number... You are referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. You have to be blackened and not get caught. If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you cannot be found by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other Bingo! Words. It's not enough you just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it! Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's a, it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time with after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin! A class trial? Mm. Yep! It's, it'll begin a few hours after the murder! Everyone will gather together, including the Blacken who committed the murder. And they, and, and they, and the spotless students will all engage on one big debate showdown. Oh boy. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Oh boy. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Oh god, no. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Oh boy. So this is where the Phoenix Wright thing is going in to confirm, huh? Hmm. What? Yeah! So if one of us... Okay, so... There's also another rule to upheld that if you do kill someone, you are also possibly killing them too. Or killing yourself too, sorry. So, basically, kill someone, don't graduate, you're also dead. So, oh boy. And again, having an odd number, not only that, but if you choose poorly, then all of us get executed, meaning the one winner is getting scot-free, so only one of us could fucking- Oh god damn. So, as the main protagonist, I'm assuming my goal is because no matter what, everyone here is gonna die. Fuck me. That or they're just gonna stay here forever or something. What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, so, so make sure I understand. If we get caught, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well... What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing, which means you'll have you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. <sighs> but judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described into your handbook to make oh boy, new rule has been added to your regulations menu. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? Hmm? 
A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. Why not? Why do you mean why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits with blasphemy! What? Punishment? I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the, Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want, I'm not gonna be part of this! I don't believe it! Stop you're the it. one being selfish, kill whoever you want, it's got nothing to do with me! Evil standing here before me, I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give up in such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, as he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle, but then... Oh boy. <laughs> of course, no upskirt shot, unfortunately. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Mm -hmm. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear Ganya! Uh-oh. Ow. This wasn't supposed to why me. Suddenly right at the end her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved. fuck, what the hell's going on outside? It's like a real murder kick her to something. Uh no What the I wait wait, hold on. Now that two people are dead. That means the next person's gonna die, so we're left with an even number. That, that's gonna be an imbalance. Like, now, no matter what, one person will be stuck here forever, no matter what. If, well, well, no, 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 no. No, wait, never mind. Because if there's three people, one guy killed the other guy, it's obvious who did it, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's not like we're gonna be a, going into a debate or something. Wait, no, but... Of course, we- well, no. If there's three people, one person kills one person, it's obvious who did it. So we could just prove- because not, there's no way we could have, like, a vote or anything, right? Because there's only two people. Because the other guy would immediately know what the other guy is, so he would go away- well, no. He won't go away scoffy. He'll be stuck there forever! Shit! Because who, who else is there left to kill? Oh, fuck. This game is fucked up. Uh, but yeah, uh, Junpei died. Shit. This can't be real! No way! Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, is there a reason why her blood's pink, though? I mean, I'm, I really don't know if that's like a that graphically. You best obey I'm not sure if that's the actual game running like that, or if it's my TV. I really, I really need to look back at the uh, recording, just in case. But oh boy, the story's getting real intense now. Junko's body has been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Like, there could... Nobody could deny what they saw. Junko, who, until just a second ago, had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, it's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the in inve inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in a prison or something? I changed my mind. 
No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time! Or are you being metaphorical? Are you just saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, why do you take on me for it? I'm Monokuma! Anyway, now that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blacken. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. Ooh, excuse me. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So, wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? Of course I do! If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment according to the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. <laughs> now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet, so we'll meet up for a class trial in a little while. Oh boy. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us with a stunning and he left us stunning and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were dead was such a huge shock, of course, but there were more to it than that. There was more to it than that. There was also the idea that some of us, one of us, had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd find ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet even in such a perversively terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest she didn't show the slightest hint that it had a it had gone to her. Hey. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? <laughs> huh? Another Cooperation way. is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not to trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> continuing to think about... Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that? This is just... <sighs> How many times will I told you? Anyone can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting for those who are unable or willing to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's what an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened! Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Either way, we can't run away from these situations, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me! Alright, damn it, let's do this! We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they were right. We just had to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If it's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. Terrified to find out, but still. Otherwise, I knew that I'd... It's a suicide. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that's also a... Wait, no, no, no. If it's a suicide, then... Well, where is she? Okay, so from the bo dead body I just saw, there was like a butcher knife. She could have... Well, it's... Okay, never mind. It's not, obviously not a suicide. There was definitely some struggle. I was just thinking of that as like an idea or something. Like, maybe she killed herself as her motive or something because of her constant depression. But at the same time, I don't know. If there was a struggle, maybe she was thinking like, Oh, it's possible that someone in the uh, room... 
pin this murder on or something because she didn't, or I don't know. Oh my god, okay. I don't know, is she really that smart? She has been manipulating me a lot, but I, I don't know. Now that she's dead, I guess I don't have to worry about her, but again, at the same time, she's dead. That's pretty fucked up. Okay, so um, otherwise, I knew that I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. And we'll do this right after the break. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dan Gunroba. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs>